Who? Yeah. Myself. Good, you're brave, man. Well, I'm justice brave. has to be served. Big late for a lot of this. Well, in fairness, uh, well, in a way, yeah. But you see, it's actually still going on in Ireland, and people don't realise this. Well, they do realise it. But, but this, what about the man in Cork? What about the man in Cork and trying to start up committed suicide? What did yeah. he say? Where's the good? Where was all the good men? That's it. No. Well, and uh, you, you say they do know about it. Yeah. They still tolerate it. Yeah. Because there's no way. There is no way that 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 was going on. I came back here. We lived here in the mid 50s. I came back in the late 80s, and I have very. I, look at it. It's not. I'm a disabled man all my yeah, life. Yeah. I know what it, I know all about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There, was no, I, there, was, there was no time for yeah. people in this country, except you were like uh, Gregory Peck, six foot tall. Yeah. No, no, and they, had, they never accepted these things. So you wouldn't have any convincing to do on me. Yeah. You yeah. wouldn't have any convincing to do on me. Yeah. What? You see, but there's the blokes, there's, there was nobody to stand up to them, and That's there's not. still nobody to stand yeah. up to them. What? Why do you think they disgraced the IRA? No, no. Because they disgraced everybody. Yeah. Now, and the reason they disgraced you, nobody had stand up to them because That's you right. were isolated. That's it. I was talking to a woman yesterday. I turned to a new woman. Yeah. She was a question one. She says, I remember going to Mass below, and she says, in the cathedral and all, and we should be in the And he talked about her daughter. And he talked about this. You know, one you throw your eyes up to heaven. Yeah. You know? I said, I came back here in 1980 and a piece was happening in the ceremony and he was talking about this. This was in the time, the time in the 1980s, the cars were getting plenty of work, very plenty yeah, of work, like, yeah, you know? Yeah. And this priest was a sermon about what he called the cars. Because I knew, remember, when nobody had a car except them. Yeah. And he was giving a sermon about a car and the car. And what he called them on brothel and wheels. We got as a you know. Yeah. You would only once happen. That's it. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you very much, sir. He's a brave man. I have no thank you. I wouldn't have any grace. Yeah. They were disgraceful. They were. Very, very sad what they've done to us. Do you not think that they would work when doing his best? Um <laughs> It's all part of the cover up. Huh? It's all part of the cover up. No, but do you not think he came back from Rome with his tail between his fucking legs? Yeah. Well, well and through the tank between his legs. He went to the Vatican with, with his tail between his legs because he knew bloody well what was going on in this country. Yeah, but do you he not knew well. Do, do no. you not think he. No. You don't. If, Der, if Dermot Martin wants to, to really do something for the Irish people, yeah. he, he needs to come out here and condemn everybody, including the government and the state, for what they've done to us. Well, he, he's not. He, I, I would. That would be the only disagreement between us. I think myself, he was in fact he get no further. There was a very good article done in the paper in the, in the Irish Independent a couple of weeks ago. But uh, I think his name was Father Horton of Mayo. Yeah. Now he disagreed last week with a man from the Newt, but he was have done a very good article. Now his 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 story was was horrific. He says you put your head above the parapet. You do anything that you shouldn't be doing. He says, I go home at night and go into my sitting room in my house and sleep in a sleeping bag in a chair. He says, you open your mouth. He says, they're all. Uh, and you th you look at them and Martin, ask these uh, these these two fellas, Walsh was one of them, to resign and things like that. He got them into Rome and Rome says, you do not just take time. Yeah. He's tail is... He's been in like his tail is between us. I will say that one. That would be a, a bit of a disagreement between us. Yeah, yeah. But the rest of them, the rest. Now I was down in Vincent's one day. Now when you talk about the world will change, I was down in Vincent's hospital. Yeah. And who did I meet coming in the door? Only Bishop Connor. Now I say there wasn't a single person passed a blind bit remarks. I said. If my mother was alive, she'd say, did you not go as far as You know, I said, things yeah. have changed so much in, I'm 74, things have changed so much in my time. Yeah. Now, and I agree with you. I see out there, there, the big kid you go to mass. I said, I do, but I was never friendly with the priest. And I said, I can just think that you do that. Now, I said, I have this philosophy about I'm too old to change. Now, I said, did my sons go? The answer is no. Yeah. They go occasionally when it's suits yeah. And I said, when it comes to them, I said, when I say, say to them, no, I said, 
the globe said it in the fellow said in London that the globe are you religious? I am, he says, but not gospel greedy. Oh, I love it. Everyone is religious. Yeah. 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 Okay, thank you, sir. Have a lovely day. I know I actually know someone actually who's a survivor, if you like. They would tell you stories, yeah? I know. Yeah. I know. I know. Uh, sure. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you.